So, Starfield is finally here, and not without controversy. One of the biggest I've seen is Bethesda chose to only have FSR for upscaling so us NVIDIA card people won't get to use our beloved DLSS. Well, fret no more, because thanks to Pure Dark, you can now have DLSS for upscaling in Starfield. Also, we'll go over a nice reshade that really makes this game pop, so keep watching to find out how. All right, so when I first launched Starfield, I was greeted with this amazing music and I was so excited and then the screen dissolved into the game and honestly, I was like, why is this so washed out looking? I mean, it really looks washed out. The colors were dull, the shadows were dull, and it was really super grainy. My first thoughts were, well, this must be the FSR. I, I mean, whenever I've added FSR via mod to a game, I've always thought it did something to the graphics that made them look a bit grainy compared to the DLSS. So my first mission was to get those colors to pop a bit more and get some contrast into that image. I found Real Life Starfield Experience Reshade by Scotty US one on Nexus. I think that's how it is. It might be scotty -us. I'm not sure. But, you know, we'll just go with Scotty US one <laughs> There are a few versions of this reshade on his page. Version 3 has more color. Uh, version 2 has less color. But I've personally found version 1 to be just right. <laughs> Uh, to install this reshade, simply go to reshade.me, download the reshade exe, then start it up and wait for all the games to load. Click on Starfield, then click Next. Then a screen will come up asking you to choose DX whatever, uh, like 9, 10, 11, or 10, 11, 12. That's what you should be selecting. Uh, then there's another screen that you just click next on and you will get a list of shaders. I, I usually just click the uncheck all and then check all so I get all of them. Why not, right? Can't have too many shaders. Uh, anyway, once that's installed, uh, you can download the reshade mod you want, uh, version 1, 2, or 3. Once again, this video is version 1. And install those files into your Starfield directory, where the Starfield EXE is located. And when you start the game back up, you'll see that Reshade is loading at the top of your screen. And once that's done, push the Home button to bring up your Reshade overlay. It's going to ask you to go through a tutorial, but you can just skip it. And then you'll see this preset box on top uh, of the overlay. Just, just click the to the right and your real life Starfield Experience Reshade should pop up. And that's it. You're done with that. Hit home again, the overlay will vanish, and uh, this is what I did. And then when I went into the game, I instantly saw a huge difference uh, as far as colors and shadows go, but it was still really super grainy. So I was like, this has to be FSR. So now I needed to install Pure Dark's DLSS Upscaler. To do this, first download and extract the mod into the same Starfield directory you installed the reshade mod. Then you need to go over to the Upscaler Base plugin, download that, and place the pdperfplugin.dll into the Mods Upscale Base plugin folder. Then you need to download the nvngx underscore dlss dot dll or the libx dot dll. I'm not sure exactly what that's for. I think it's for a uh, 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 Intel upscaling uh and uh you but you're only going to need to worry about the mv and gx if you're worried about dlss once that is downloaded you need to place it in the mods uh upscaler base plugin folder with the pd perf plugin that you put in there earlier and now the mod's installed you just start the game press the end button and an overlay will pop up DLSS should be already selected. Make sure you have FSR2 selected on the Starfield settings because it really is DLSS now. I did this and jumped in and it was still super grainy. So then I went into the game settings and I saw that the film grain was cranked all the way up to 11. Now I don't know why game developers do this. Maybe some people like it, but uh, for games I like my images to be less grainy. <laughs> so I turned that all the way off. And of course the dreaded motion blur. I hate motion blur. And I went back into the game and it was super pretty. Vibrant colors, rich darks, no, and the shadows were great and there was no grain. 
but now my controller wasn't working. I mean, some of the buttons work, but my left thumbstick did not work. And uh, that's kind of hard if you're not going to move, want to move. And the B button was not working. The mouse and keyboard work fine, but I'm planning on playing this in VR when Luke Ross releases his mod for it any day now. Uh, Side note, there's no confirmation that Luke Ross is working on a VR mod for Starfield, but I'm still trying to manifest it here. Manifest with me, right on his Patreon page. Send him nudes, I don't know, whatever it takes. Anyway, uh, I cannot do mouse and keyboard in VR. Also, I did some testing and strangely enough, there really was no difference with DLSS and FSR2. They looked and ran exactly the same. I even turned that turn them both off completely and is still getting at least 100 frames per second and uh i couldn't see any difference in the game at all uh, maybe it's because i'm playing on an absolute beast of a machine with an i9 13900 k and an rtx 4090 um, it may be different on lower cards but man this game runs smooth as butter so honestly for me i just removed the dlss mod and actually had to uninstall the game and delete the directory and start it all over with and then just added the reshade in again and now my controller works just fine so anyway there you go uh that's how you install the reshade and dlss to get this game looking amazing uh, let me know in the comments if you have a more mid-range system and if the dlss made a big difference for you i'm really super curious about about that and like i said before i'm really hoping for a vr mod for this game so click like and subscribe and ring that little bell thing to get notifications for some starfield vr content coming soon i hope uh, also don't really send loot nudes uh un unless you want to anyway guys uh thanks for watching dr greg out